Hey guys, we're the Well Bros, and today me and Rob want to talk to you about learning from failure. So over the course of our middle school and early high school years, we both had trouble learning from and overcoming mistakes and failures we encountered along the way. So what we want to share with you guys is how to see these failures as opportunities rather than mistakes, and really taking the time to go back and reflect on those mistakes um, and really breaking them down into individual pieces and not focusing on the entire mistake or failure as a whole piece, but bringing down to the little bits and pieces that make the big picture. And that comes with one experience, but also mostly the awareness that you can do better and you have the opportunity to do better at these little things that will make the entire picture better, whether it be learning a language or getting better at basketball or whatever it may be. But taking that time to reflect has been very effective for me. I generally either journal or meditate, just sit with myself and take that time to think about what did I do poorly, what did I do okay but could improve on, and what did I do well. And not forgetting the pieces that we did well. We want to keep the attention on positives and what we can do better. So focusing on the negatives as growing experiences and using those to take, again, take the reflection time to go back and really think how can I improve for next time and use this as an opportunity to get better for next time as opposed to viewing it as a failure. Yeah, okay, and the way I specifically want to relate the learning from failure message or whole idea is uh, with basketball because uh, I've been playing basketball again lately in the past few weeks consistently for the first time pretty much in like five or six or seven years. Like I quit back in high school early on because uh, I wasn't very good and I wasn't getting very good. I, I wasn't big um, and I was just, I, I couldn't keep up with my peers in playing basketball and I just would get really frustrated playing the game and I wouldn't be looking for things that I could improve on and I would just get pissed off. And I think the things that have changed since then is that I've learned the important facets of how to learn from failure, which are A, don't get really pissed off and frustrated, like control your temper, and B, um, you need to approach it with the mindset that um, you have responsibility for certain things, like you have control over certain things when you're trying to learn something. And everything else that's outside of your influence, you need to just put down and let go of, like don't be dwelling on it, don't, don't be comparing yourself to other people all the time, like, I would be playing basketball and I would just like everyone around me being much better and just get really pissed off or in the game when I'd miss a shot, get really pissed off, you know, have it stolen from me, get pissed off and just, I couldn't deal with all the frustration and that, you know, part of that is definitely meditation since then and just growing up a little bit, the emotional maturity, but it's also definitely the fact that now when I'm in that situation, I always try to view a failure as something that I'm constantly improving on. Like I can be like grateful for a failure because it gives me insight to where my weaknesses are and what I need to be working on. And so I'm always trying to take responsibility for the things that I can control, like how much time I put in, how much effort I put in, and how precise and focused I am with trying to look at what I'm actually doing and adjust my course as need be. Or just, you know, like say if I need to change my entire approach with a certain thing or just a technique tweak or if I'm doing it the right way I'm attempting to do it the right way and I'm just like not there yet skill wise and I just need repetition like it's important to be, be able to identify that kind of thing and the other side of the coin of taking responsibility is not comparing yourself to or like getting caught up with things that are out of your control like uh, not comparing yourself to other people being better than you at it um, and this isn't just with basketball at all, it's with like everything, and learning, studying, um, social skills, just, you know, comparing yourself to people who are genetically inclined to be good at something, and that's just gonna piss you off and frustrate you and like make you jealous and angry. Um, comparing yourself to people who are better than you and just getting pissed off that you're not making as good progress as other people. This is a, uh, learning things and improving things is a solo journey. If you decide you want to do something, no one can tell you that you can't do it, but you can't be comparing yourself to people who are better than you and thinking, why can't I just be that 
without putting the work into the time in. And um, it's just completely pointless and it's just going to get you caught up in you know negativity to be dwelling on people who are better than you or genetically inclined to be better, etc, etc. I'm harping on this a, mu a bit much, but like it's important to just let go of things that you don't have control over. That's just the main point I'm trying to make here. And I think a lot of people have the common misconception too that once you get there, wherever there is, success, you're good at this, that, whatever it may be, that there aren't going to be any more obstacles or hardships or mistakes. But realistically, as we go along, there are going to be a million mistakes we make along the way. There's no way that we are going to reach our goals without having mistakes along the way. We're going to learn from all these things. We're going to do things poorly. We're going to do, do things great as well. But focusing on the things we do poorly and using those, again, as opportunities to improve ourselves and not viewing these failures or mistakes as the end of the world and as Dennis said, don't dwell on them. Don't compare ourselves to other people if we haven't had the experience yet or the time yet or whatever it may be. With the intent and the mindset of opportunity as opposed to failure, you can get to wherever you want to go simply by putting in the time and effort and doing everything you need to do from the little pieces, focusing on the little pieces to make that big picture work. And that's, again, what we are trying to do ourselves and help other people realize because we took us a decent amount of time to figure this stuff out, so. Yeah, I hope some young kids see this someday because I feel like that's like the genre right there yeah. that most needs this advice. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you have any suggestions of what we could do better, any mistakes you think we're making, we'd be happy to hear from you and if you anything else you want to share with us. So please like, subscribe, um, share this with a friend if you think it could be helpful to them or younger brother, sister, anyone who you think could hear and could benefit from this message as we wish we had someone to tell us this or help us with this when we were younger. Yes. So until next time, I'm Rob. I'm Dennis. And we're the Well Bros. Thank you.